Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are, uh, guys are doing actually well today. Praise God, praise God. I'm going to wait till some of you guys get up on here. I know that most people are celebrating holidays and things of that nature. And if you are, I pray that you are safe. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Um, move with safety. But I have a lot to talk about. Praise God, praise God. And I do apologize I didn't get on here the other days. <laughs> I have always a lot going on. Okay, I really don't see. Okay, I'm going to wait till a few more if you get on. How are you guys doing? God bless you. God bless you. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start. So if you see my title, it says to preach. Let me make sure. Uh, writing. It says to preach and teach, one should have the Holy Spirit. You have to be Holy Spirit filled. Okay. Praise God. Praise God. And I'm going to have to um, change that spelling in a minute. Okay. So basically this is what I want to come from Matthew 28 verse 18, Matthew 28, chapter 28, King James version, um, verses 18 to 20. It says, and Jesus came and spake unto them saying, all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Notice what he say. I, I need you all power in heaven and in earth. So I know it looks like the enemy is winning and he's doing a lot of stuff and he is in this hour, but God is still in control. Come on, somebody. Let me continue. 19. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Come on, somebody. Verse 20. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever. There it is right there. Teaching them to observe all things. I'm going to say that one more again for the people in the back. Teaching them to observe all things. People, if you're a watch woman or a watch man on the wall, we're supposed to observe all things. Whatsoever I've commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even into the death and the end of the world. Amen, amen, amen. Now, not only that, we're talking about also the Great Commission here. Before he sent them out, he made sure that they were Holy Spirit filled. We have a church that is trying to operate out of just mere, I know how to preach. I know how to teach. I know how to flow. I have the gift of gab. I mean, and some people do. But it's very important that you possess the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit will tell you when I'm up on here. I'm going to use myself for example. I'm not even going to use nobody else, right? When I'm up on here. I try to stick to the script what God has said, but I notice oftentimes I'm listening for the Holy Spirit and he'll tell me to start saying something. And a lot of people, honestly, they like one subject. You know, that's what the world teaches you. What is the subject of the matter? You know what my Bible teaches me? There is no subject of the matter. That's just matters. Matters of the heart, matters of what's going on in this world today. So the Holy Spirit flows. It, it doesn't stick to a subject. Oh, don't mind me. The Holy Spirit flows how it flows. Because guess what? He knows every last one of you that's going to come up on here and going to need a word. See, everybody's trying to be this great this and this great that. Our position is to hear the Holy Spirit. What are you telling me? What are you telling me to say in this hour? So let me tell you why I'm up on here, even with my life. You guys, I'm getting deeper and deeper in God. I don't know if y'all can see it. There's so much stuff coming. That ain't even the trip, though. The thing is, I feel God more so. Like I told you, I'm barely sleeping. I hear God. I hear God. Deanna, tell my people. I love them. Deanna, tell my people to get closer to me in this hour. We as a church have gotten so far from God, and I'm and, and I'm a, I'm a peel that thing back. I'm peel that onion back. We're worried about all the wrong things, honey. Let me tell you something. We got to go back to our first work and our first love. What's our first work and what's our first love? I don't know about you. Do you remember how when we used to evangelize every day, all day, trying to see? You know, sometimes we made a game of who who could who could witness the most or who could bring more people, you know, to church in the van or in your car. And it wasn't about the competition part. It was about we was on fire for the Lord. Come on, somebody, there it goes right there. Where's that fire that you once had? Let me tell you how you lose that fire. I talk to people sometimes and I need you all to be honest and tell the truth to yourselves. Didn't you have the fire more than you had? It? 
Didn't you have that fire when you first got saved? When you first believed? When you first received the Holy Ghost? Come on, somebody. But let me tell you what the enemy does. He'll start sending things. He'll start sending situations, problems, tests. And it's to die out your fire. And God allowed the test. And God allowed the trust, the trials. Remember Job? The, the enemy kept saying, well, if you take the hedge, I bet you he'll curse you to your face. Job never did that. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So we're going to be tested. But the thing is, though, will you hold on to your faith? Will you hold on to your fire? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Most people, they let it go. And this is why they let it go. God, I don't understand why you're letting this happen to me. Why me? I don't understand. I'm doing what you want me to do. I don't care. You could do everything by the book. You could not sin, whatever. You will be tested. You will be tried. Not for God's sake. God wants you to know who you are. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But this is what I realize. This is what pe this is how people backslide. Always go back to the beginning. You know how you backslide? When you stop reading your word. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Talk to me up in here today. When you stop reading that word of God, every backslide I ever talked to, I asked them that one question. Did you stop reading your word? Well, you know, I, I got to work and I got bills to pay. And I got, they, they gave me every excuse. Can I tell you something? That's your lifeline. That's your lifeline. That word of God cancels spells. Oh, I'm about to hit you. I'm about to hit you. I'm about to hit you. Notice when you have words, what they say is called spelling. So you have to be careful of the words because death and life are in the power of the words, right? So the enemy tries to get you just to spell stuff. Speak wordly. It spells. It spells. That's why they call it spelling. So the word of God combats all that and teaches you how to apply application, biblical application, while in this world. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So therefore, you can't get, forget that word, that word. Let me tell you what's happening. The enemy got everybody trying to get this and that until we're not doing what we're supposed to do. Every day I wake up, I promise you I'm not lying. I hear God say, Dana, get in your word. I can't say I like to all the time, meaning that, let me clarify what I'm saying. Sometimes you're tired, you're hurting or whatever. Okay, okay. You got to train yourself. I need this word. I can't live without this word. I am. This word has to become me. Meaning that I can't live without it. I need to hear God. I need to know God. And he speaks to me through his word. Not just through my Holy Spirit. Not just in my spirit. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. A lot of people are falling because they don't have the word of God in them. Even pastors and preachers. That's why they're going on the internet. They, they, let me tell you something. Oh, God, y'all not going to like this. I'm flowing. I'm flowing. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost, y'all. I don't know if y'all realize this. And I'm not trying to brag about what I'm getting ready to say. This is my Bible. I've never had to look at a paper when I did a sermon. Y'all ain't ready for me. Don't get mad at me. I ain't mad at people that have to write it down. But you see, when you power the Holy Ghost, I ain't got to write down nothing because he's going to flow with me. Or I'm going to flow with him. We're going to flow together, honey. The old preachers never wrote down that. They flowed. They flowed. I'm going to say it one more time. They flowed. You know why we got to write down stuff? Not we. Why people got to write down stuff? You're not full of the Holy Ghost. I ain't mad. I'm not trying to hurt nobody. I'm not trying to bash. You're not full of the Holy Ghost. Because when you're full of the Holy Ghost, he said, I'll bring back remembrance of what I've told you and what I've showed you and what I want you to say. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm talking about being full of the Holy Ghost right now. We got to go back to praying. I'm not talking about popcorn prayers. Father God, I need this bill paid. Father God, no, no, no. Father God, thank you for waking me up this morning. Father God, I repent to you. Father God, I need you, God. God, God, God. We need to go back to God. The enemy didn't got you so. I'm going to tell you what a lot of people are doing. They just be scrolling. They just be scrolling on Facebook. Just scrolling. Just scrolling. Make sure that social media don't consume your spirit, your mind, your thoughts. Because there's a spirit of attention. Well, you got to always have attention. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. There's a spirit of attention that is going through the airwaves. 
with people recording deaths. Just yesterday, they shot this guy in Philly on, on his IG live. You had they had to be watching him when he was gonna go live in order to do that. So if y'all don't see how social media can be good and definitely evil in the ways that it is used. I'm telling you in this last hour, you're going to need God and you're going to need God more than ever. Now you can play these games and keep doing what you're doing. And what I mean by that is whoever possess your spirit, possess your thoughts. Whoever possess your thoughts, possess your actions. Why y'all think so much death and everything is going on? The devil is running rapid. He's just using people, just using people, just using people to kill, to steal, to lie, to do whatever the case may be. In this hour, you need that word of God and you need the spirit of God. The Spirit of God corrects us. The Spirit of God convicts us. The Spirit of God tells us, hey, come on, you know better than that. But when you're not convicted, then you can't receive correction. And when you're not filled with the Holy Spirit, I'm going to say this, and it is just as real as I can get. If you are not surrendered to the Holy Ghost, you are capable of anything. I'm going to repeat that again. If you are not surrendered to the power of the Holy Ghost, then you, my friend, you're capable of anything. Because if God not speaking to you, then you already know who is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That stuff real. Well, it's real. It's real. So I just wanted to get up on here and tell you that not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, said the Lord. Y'all, we can't do this without God. <laughs> I think we all have tried. I ain't going to lie. But we have. Honey, the flesh will wear you out. Because it cannot, it cannot sustain on its own. One spirit of another, the kingdom of God or the kingdom of the devil. Point blank in the story. Who's your ruler? God or the devil? Because everybody, all we are are puppets and muppets on a string. It's just that who is your puppet and muppet master? Hallelujah. This stuff is real. Oh, it's definitely real. And as we go into the close of this year, y'all need to know. There's a spirit of lawlessness that is overtaking. And the enemy thinks that he's winning. But God told me to tell you, nay, said the Lord, hallelujah. I have 7,000 that haven't bowed down to the spirit of Baal. Prayers do work. I know you're looking around and it's a lot of mayhem and, and so much stuff going on. And I hate to be the bearer of truth all the time. But I got to tell you that. The seeds that people have sown must come back into your own home and backyard. You know, I have a heart for people. And I said, God, why are these young guys getting killed, these rappers? God says, what have they sown, Deanna? Y'all ain't ready for me. God said, what have they sown? So that means we got to go back and we got to help them. And I hate to tell y'all the truth. Because I, but I, ha I have to hear. Y'all talking about what well, these young people are out of control. Hmm. But then you need to go to Ice Cube, the ones that made Boys in the Hood, Minister Society, um, all those movies that did drive-bys. Uh, uh, excuse me. You call yourself an OG? You started that. The young kids didn't know about killing and drive-bys. Y'all OGs did that, so-called OGs. Y'all did that. They, they just amped it up to the seventh power. So now the church got to stop what they doing, trying to be famous. Go marching in these streets again, praying. See, y'all just marching, but y'all ain't praying. That's why we ain't seeing no change. You got to march and pray. Because just because you holler don't mean it's powerful. You can be silent and powerful with your prayers. That's how we're going to take back the streets. That's how we're going to get this murder of spirit stopped through prayers. Praying over those children, praying over the, street, the streets, praying over your homes. Now, but, but hold on, it ain't just the OGs. You mothers, 
that like that drug money to pay your bills when you should be able to pay your own bills y'all don't say nothing to them kids because they're bringing in drug money but as soon as they get shot y'all want to throw some wings on their picture like they was an angel y'all ain't ready for me today y'all ain't ready for me today and i'm not trying to be insensitive but how dare you because what you should have did was tell your child you're doing wrong son y'all gotta stop playing them games and go back to the original blueprint of god and it is right right wrong wrong period but hey y'all don't want that to touch y'all i don't even know why i went that way <laughs> but god remember that's what i'm talking about the holy spirit somebody on here need to hear it in order for a problem to be solved you got to identify the problem period so I pray that y'all understand what I'm saying. I said it before. It's time to wake up. It's time to wake up. It's time to wake up people. For real. Especially black people. Especially because Caucasians not killing, not doing drive-bys too much. You know, Kumo D says something, and I see it often. He says, I never ran from the Ku Klux Klan, and I shouldn't have to run from a black man. They got y'all killing y'all own kind behind money. Isn't that the same they did, thing they did in slavery? Slavery all over again. But this time they gave y'all the one thing they knew y'all couldn't handle. It. And I'm about to go here. Money. Get a little bit, you lose your mind. You don't even know what to do with it. Because you were never taught how powerful money can be. But guess what? Money can be powerful. But money could be deadly. Y'all better understand what I just said. Hallelujah to his name. Because if you don't have the wisdom to go with it, you'll do and say anything to get it. Hallelujah. So we have to go back to the standards of God. The standards. You remember when we were children and you knew how to respect, you know how to say thank you, you're welcome, excuse me. It starts right there. No respect, no nothing. And God is not pleased. God is not pleased. We got to wake up. We got to wake up. The church quiet. The church, you too quiet. You too quiet. You too quiet. You, oh, you don't want to offend nobody. That's why y'all don't, y'all think I'm whatever, because I don't care about offending you. Be offended. And after you get offended, go pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. So anywho, I'm getting off of here. I'm telling you right now, we just got to come back to the oracles of God. We have to do things in a godly fashion in Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name. It's that time. It's just that time. All right. So God bless you. God keep you. Um, I was speaking about the Great Commission and just we have to go back to the basics. We have to go back to the basics, everybody. And that's everybody. Hallelujah. So God bless you. God keep you. Y'all know what time it is. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll our soldiers for that is truly who we are. God bless. Have a safe and blessed day, night. Hallelujah.